Enquiry Advisor tutorial. Professional statisticians have created Enquiry Advisor so that research investigators can compute appropriate sample sizes easily. The study question is, does the new drug reduce anemia in elderly women after hip fracture? A two-group, randomised, parallel, double-blind study is planned. Patients will be studied for two weeks. Each patient will be randomly assigned to receive either the new drug or a placebo three times per week. The sample sizes in the two groups will be equal. The primary outcome measure will be the mean change in hematocrit level from pre-treatment to post-treatment. These changes will be compared between the two groups using a two-sample t-test. To set up this study in Enquiry Advisor, select File Menu and New. In the Study Goal and Design box, you will see three columns of options. Under Goal, Make Conclusions Using, select Means. Under Number of Groups, select Two. And under Analysis Method, select Test. These selections result initially in eight choices of available sample size tables. Select the Student T-Test Equal Variances and click the OK button to accept the choice. This is the sample size table for the two group t-test of equal means with equal ends. The screen is divided into five sections such as the main analysis table, a section for user notes, a specialised guide card pane that offers statistical information and help while filling in values for the table, a section giving detailed references and finally a section for stored sample size statements. For our particular study plans call for a 5% significance level and a two-sided test. To enter these values click on the first cell of column 1 and enter 0 0.05 to specify the significance level and press enter or the down arrow to register your entry. In the second row type 2 to indicate a two-sided test. Specifying the effect size is often the hardest part of study planning. For a two-sample t-test you must specify both the expected difference in means that you would like to detect and the standard deviation expected within each group. Previous studies have indicated that we can expect a change of 0% in the placebo-treated group. While a conservative estimate of the possible effect of a new drug on elderly women might be in the range of 2% to 2.4%. We easily enter these values across the three columns. Note that Enquiry Advisor automatically calculates the difference in means. Next we specify the common standard deviation. The two sample t-test assumes that variability in the two groups is the same so we enter a single value. Previous studies again indicate that we can reasonably expect a standard deviation for a change in hermatocrit of about 2%. Very importantly, Enquiry Advisor helps you to utilise information from a variety of formats to obtain an estimate of the standard deviation. At this point, you may wish to enter notes concerning the origin of these values for the mean and standard deviation so that you can document them in your report. To add notes to the table, simply click in the white rectangle in the lower left of the Enquiry Advisor window and type the required information. Next we choose the value of power required for the study. Investigators typically request study powers of between 80 and 95 percent. 
The higher the required power, the larger the required sample size. For the study, we choose 90%. Note that when you type the value 90 into the power row and press the enter or the right arrow, Enquiry Advisor automatically computes the necessary sample size and completes the column. For the range of hypothesized changes in the new drug group, a sample size per group of 16 to 23 would be required. So our total study sample size would range from 32 to 46 subjects. With Enquiry Advisor, you can easily use the plot options to view customizable power versus sample size plots. Simply highlight your chosen columns and from the plot menu, select plot power versus N. With a few mouse clicks, you can then easily customize line attributes, column names, and other plot properties. We will finish this tutorial by showing how easy it is to create your sample size justification statement with Enquiry Advisor. This great feature makes it easy to report your sample size decision in the correct language required by FDA and other regulatory agencies. To create your sample size justification statement, simply select any single completed column in your sample size table and click on the Edit menu Create Statement option. The statement will then appear in the Statement dialog box. You can store the statement with the table and then when you save the table, the statement will automatically be saved with it. You can also print the statement or send it to Clipboard so that you can incorporate it into other Windows applications. This tutorial has introduced you to several Enquiry Advisor features by using one complete simple example. Enquiry Advisor offers many other features not discussed in detail or even mentioned in this brief overview. You can visit the statisticalsolutionssoftware.com website for more detailed application specific examples and other useful product information. You can also call or email us to discuss your specific sample size requirements. We will be delighted to hear from you.